Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good morning. Uh, I'm Paul Doving, Executive Director of New South Wales Procurement, and it's my very, very great pleasure, and I'm very excited to introduce you this morning um, to our session, New South Wales Government Engaging on Postmodern ERP. And as I look around the room, and as I've had the opportunity to speak to a number of you already, um, I think this represents really some very great outcomes both for government and for industry in the way that we've been working together and collaborating um, to really drive reform and change in the sector and also more broadly for industry. So I'm really looking forward to the opportunity that's going to come through this morning um, for the speakers and then also for the networking sessions to really drive some significant benefit out of the session today. I wanted to uh, start firstly by just acknowledging that we have the very great privilege of gathering together today on the traditional lands of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and pay my respects to their elders past and present and extend that respect to any Aboriginal and Indigenous uh, representatives that are with us in the room today. And that is genuinely for me a, a real passion and I think a real honour uh, and it's a worthy moment for us to stop and reflect on all that's gone before us as we come to this point. I'd also like to uh, just acknowledge and welcome today um, that we have our Deputy Secretary of Government Services, Anthony Lean, who's going to do the official welcome um, and he'll be joining us up on, uh, on the stage shortly. And also just to acknowledge and recognise the number of senior industry and government representatives who've made their time available and committed themselves to this session this morning. So thank you. Now, a couple of housekeeping matters. Um, firstly, in terms of uh, safety, uh, if you get an instruction to evacuate, uh, you exit via the stairs outside, don't use the lift. Um, try not to do these and just exit in an orderly fashion. Um, the assembly points on York Street behind the QVB and report to the team who were on the front registration desk. Uh, now also bathrooms, I think as many of you would have already noticed, are uh, just opposite the um, doors outside. Uh, and can I ask you at this time to switch your phones to silent if you haven't already done so. Um, one other uh, just quick matter to mention, if you haven't already received a copy of the program this morning and you'd like to have one as we work our way through the session, just raise your hand and one of the team will be able to deliver one of those to you. So I can see a couple of hands going up over here. Um, also, I'm pleased to say that uh, this morning, um, and given you know, this is a uh, esteemed gathering of uh, the ICT industry, um, we're live streaming across the net and we're also um, going to be tweeting through the, the morning and also using a, um, a handle, hashtag as you can see it there, NSWGovERP. Um, so please feel free to express thoughts, comments, questions as we go through the session this morning. Um, that will help not only us in the room and make it more interactive, but it'll also help those um, that are not able to be present with us in the room this morning um, interact with the session as we go through today. So let me just give you a, an overview of the session. Um, so today really does provide an opportunity for industry and agencies to come together as part of the ongoing collaboration for the provision of products and services to government and to discuss emerging and future trends in procurement and ICT services. So, as I said, we're going to start with uh, an official welcome from Anthony in a moment. Um, then I'll just talk very briefly about the connection, if you like, between uh, our procurement reform activities and how that's creating the sorts of approaches to market and the sorts of work with industry that really allow us to drive this conversation uh, about postmodern ERP forward. We're going to, and, and I'm very pleased to um, say that we've got um, Richard Host and Aaron Liu from uh, Fire and Rescue and uh, Department of Justice with us here today, and they're going to be talking about some specific case studies. I'm very excited to hear from both of them. Um, we've got Sally Ingram, who's going to be talking to us about the New South Wales government standard business processes in the way in which they're supporting our ongoing work to really drive um, change and to deliver the sorts of outcomes that we need for citizens and taxpayers. Um, Michael and Mike 
are going to be up here uh, a little bit later and I think that's fantastic. Um, we've had a great working relationship and collaboration with the AIIA uh, and it's an important recognition of the role that industry's played in really helping us to drive this reform, so I'm looking forward to hearing from them. Um, the ICT services scheme and catalogue for buyers and industry, obviously that's an important mechanism in the way that we affect and drive forward the opportunities for working across agencies and industries. And then we're going to allow for, um, in our networking and engagement sessions, industry presentations um, on the subcategories that are within the scheme, and you'll find uh, some more information on those later on. So it's a really rich agenda today. Uh, it will be made all the richer by your active participation, particularly as we move into the networking sessions and we move into those other aspects of the day that allow you to really engage both with your industry partners as well as with agencies.